Thank you. Thank you very much. Southside Johnny Lyon. Singer, songwriter, harmonica playing leader of the Asbury Jukes. It is my honor to be here tonight to induct my friend into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. As I have said many, many times before, without Southside Johnny, there would not have been a John Bon Jovi. I grew up on the sounds of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, but I always wanted to be an Asbury Juke. When I started out in the late 70s, Bruce had already released four albums. The Jukes had released three. And there was something in those songs that connected with me. Those guys made Asbury Park, New Jersey, a place where the impossible seemed possible. You didn't have to go to Los Angeles or to London. In fact, we didn't even have to go to New York City to play our own songs. Back then, coming to Asbury Park was like going to church. And seeing the Southside Johnny show was like witnessing a tsunami of sound led by a singer who delivered every song like it would be the last one he'd ever sing. The Jukes dared you to stand still. Songs like This Time It's For Real, Trapped Again, The Fever, I Don't Wanna Go Home, and of course Sam Cooke's We're Having a Party invited us all to the party. From the first song to the last, you couldn't help but raise your hands and shake your ass. And at that time, it wasn't hard to run into one or more of the Jukes in the clubs or on the boardwalk. Maybe that's another reason why we loved them so much. They were approachable. I have many memories of La Bamba teaching the Atlantic City Expressway the right way to perform several soul songs, or Tony Pellegrosi and Kevin Cavanaugh jumping up and playing with my band. Each one of the guys would give this young kid words of encouragement and treated us like we were a part of the scene. In 1980, Johnny actually produced some of the first demos I sang on as a member of a band called The Rest. And he let me open shows for him any time that he could. Now, let us also remember this. Southside Johnny is and always was a great front man. I went to school on Southside's showmanship. He was not the kind of guy that you'd ever want to follow on a stage. After any juke show, you were equally and always exhilarated and exhausted. Early in my career, Johnny taught me what headhunting was. And that was finding a trick that you could leave a mark on the headliner while you were making your mark on the audience. I never forgot that. Throughout my career, Johnny's been a friend, a mentor, a bad influence, <laughs> and sometimes a cranky son of a bitch. But it's those qualities that make anyone who's ever known him, work with him, or just come to see his shows, love him. Because John is real. He always has been. He wouldn't play the game by anybody's rules. In fact, he didn't play. He worked. And he's still working over 45 years later. Now, I will tell you a secret. He didn't want to be here tonight. When I heard that he was being inducted, I was afraid he wouldn't show up. Not because he didn't appreciate it, no, because I know that he does, but because he always told me to remember, it's not about the award you get for the work you've done. It's the reward that you get when you get to do what you love and you do it well. Take a look at this video. <laughs> 